Hi, welcome back. We're moving ahead and we want to learn about the anatomy of the atom. Atoms are so small. They make up all the things around us. Here's some interesting artwork for you. Imagine everything in our lives made of tiny particles. Tiny, small things. This artist drew an image only with particles. Little atoms. Can you tell what the image is yet? Can you tell what it is? All these tiny atoms making the things around us in our life? Can you tell what the object is? You got it yet? Can you tell now? Probably now. You got yourself a koala in its environment. All made up of teeny tiny particles called atoms. Everything in the environment, the organism and the environment, are made up of these tiny particles that makes everything around us. And we have uh, the elements, the different types of atoms that make up our periodic table. And there's different categories of atoms that make everything around us. And you can see, look at all these different elements making the periodic table. It's fantastic. There are so many different elements. And many of these we find inside our bodies. And many of these things, we have to eat the food around us to get the correct number of elements. So our bodies do require a lot of different types of elements. And that's why fruits and vegetables and natural foods are good. Because it ends up getting us all these elements our body needs. Have you ever seen an atom? If you were to zoom in to this tissue, and this is brought to you by uh, nature, you zoom into an onion and you get to its cells. You can see here their, their cells are unique. They're kind of square shaped often. They're made up of cell walls and they contain these little particles here. These long stranded things are chromosomes. So we're zooming in more and more. We've gone into the cell and these chromosomes are made up of molecules as well tiny things. It is hard, even with today's microscopes, to see those things. And what's interesting is this video right here is showing you every little dot is a different atom. And scientists keep trying to see atoms better and better. And they do all this research to look and watch them and learn about them. You can see they took pictures of a material and all the atoms that made the material. It's called, I, I believe it was titanium or tungsten and from different angles, just so they could see how atoms get close together. So this is a tiny little piece of titanium, I believe. And you can see all the little atoms that make it. I'll try to pause it right where. So they took pictures of this material at all different angles. Let's see, boom. So you can see all these single little atoms that made a piece of titanium element so small you couldn't see it with your own eye. And yet all these billions or trillions of atoms are all together, all together, making this little piece of metal element. So let's start, so let's start to look at what makes the atom, the anatomy of the atom. What are the different things that make these tiny little structures? All right, first up, we have slide 24. Let's copy down slide 24 in your notebook. So in your notebook, Please write slide 24, and let's get this definition. The nucleus, it's part of, that, of something that makes an atom. So part of an atom is the nucleus. The nucleus is a positively charged, small, so it says positively charged, you can see the plus signs here. It's small, you can see that it's a tiny center, or right here you can see it's a tiny center, and it's dense, so it has a lot of things close together that are positively charged. So a lot of tiny little things that are positively charged, close together, densely, and it's in the center of an atom. And you can see it's in the center. Please copy this definition down of a nucleus, and make sure you remember that the nucleus is positively charged. And now, for slide 24, you have one other job. It says 
in your journal or your notebook, draw, draw what you see as the nucleus in one of these images. So it's better we call these images models. Because anything in science that's an image that helps us learn more, we call them models. And both of these models show us a nucleus. So based on the definition, pick one of these models and draw the nucleus. All right, let's move on. Slide 22. Here's the next part of an atom. It's called an electron. So we just learned that the nucleus is positively charged. Now there's electrons that are also making up atoms. And they are negatively charged particles found in all atoms. And you can see right here, it's a negative sign. The electrons are found on the outside of the atom. You have the center nucleus that's positively charged, and you have the electrons on the outside that are negatively charged. This is the element francium, and francium contains 87 electrons, and 87 electrons are buzzing around the outside of an atom. And then we have here, this is, let's see, let's say it only has one electron as one proton, so I'm thinking this is hydrogen. Hydrogen is a very simple and smaller atom. You can see it has one electron, while francium has 87. And hydrogen only has a single positively charged particle in its center, called a proton, while francium has a lot more. It would have potentially 87 protons in its center, while hydrogen only has one. So different atoms have different numbers of particles in its nucleus, and, it, and each element also, or each atom, may contain different numbers of electrons, or these negatively charged things on the outside. You can see this model right here helps a little more. You can see these little blue particles called protons are in the center nucleus, and then you have negatively charged electrons on the outside. Hopefully this is familiar and reviews a little bit of what atoms are. Let's check a video out, see if it helps. But if you haven't, make sure you write slide 25 in your notebook and copy down this definition if you haven't. But please pause the video and get the definition for slide 25, electrons, in your notebook. So we have here a video from Ricochet Science, and they're going to show us some atomic structure. Here we have a helium atom, and you can see a helium atom has a positively charged nucleus. And these little protons, these are called, uh, uh, the green positively charged particles are protons, and then these goldish colored ones are neutrons. We won't talk about them much, but we'll spend more time talking about electrons and the positive charge of a nucleus. And that's a helium atom. Here's carbon. Carbon is made up of six protons at its center nucleus. It's also containing six of these neutrons that make the nucleus. And then it has six negatively charged electrons on the outside. So six electrons, six protons that make up the nucleus. So six protons that make up the nucleus, and then you have these six outer. Different uh, versions of carbon are possible. All right, so because this video is so perfect, I'm going to go ahead and pause it here, and our next video will pick up on slide 26. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you've learned something from this video, and I hope you're starting to refresh and kind of remember things about atoms and the anatomy of them, or the parts of an atom. Have a great day, guys.